Today I thought I'd share some tips to create routine and maintain your sanity when you're working from home. I may be an expert in this, I have worked from home for, well if you include uni, probably seven years now, going on eight years. So I thought I'd share some of my tips in case you are like me, a perpetually disorganized person, you've had to teach yourself how to get up in the mornings, and you're generally just finding it a little tough having to work from home at the moment, especially without all the social contact we used to. My first tip is to just get up, literally just make it out of bed. I know that sounds silly to some people, but I'll be honest, some days you just need to do some bedding or some working from your bed but you can't do it every day. So if you get yourself out of bed, that is the first hurdle to climb. Stop looking at your phone, stop watching good TikToks, get out of bed. Move your body in whatever way that you can. So for me personally right now, I'm getting up every morning and I'm spinning for 20 or 30 minutes on the spin bike downstairs. For some people that might be going for a long walk, for some people it might be going for a run or a run slash walk. If you're not doing couch to 5k, I've heard it's amazing if you want to get into running. In all the time I've worked from home, I've really, really noticed a correlation between moving my body and having a good night's sleep. So in whatever way that you can, I'd really recommend that you move your body at least once a day. It doesn't have to be really high exertion either, just anything that will tire you out and help you sleep. Something that's been really important for me while working from home during lockdown is maintaining some easy habits from before lockdown. I find it helps me to think, oh, I've ticked something off my to-do list or off my habit tracker, and it helps me be more motivated for the rest of my day. So for example, I'll take my Simprove every morning. It might seem trivial, but for me, it's ticking something off on that to-do list. Another one I've carried on from home is to eat fruit or veg with breakfast every day. Whether that's avocado on toast, a couple of blueberries in my porridge, or my muesli, I just really try and eat some fruit at the beginning of the day. Or veg, if that's the way we're going. Your habits will probably be completely different to mine, but if there is a habit that you can still maintain while working from home, I'd really recommend you do it and integrate it into the early part of your day. The biggest tip I can give you for getting yourself together in the mornings is to brush your teeth and wash your face. This might sound very basic to some people or very rudimentary, but believe me, when I've been working from home, there have been periods, especially when I was a busy student, where I'd get up and think, I don't need to do my skincare routine today. I don't even know if I need to shower. Well, let me tell you, you will feel so much better if you brush your teeth and wash your face at a bare minimum. I know some people don't shower every day, that's cool. For me personally, I feel best when I wash my face, do my skincare routine, shower, wash my hair, and brush my teeth. I would hope that everyone is brushing their teeth twice a day, but if you're not, please brush your teeth twice a day. So I think it's really important that you get dressed for your day, and I don't mean put on proper clothes in inverted commas. I'd much rather change into something that's really comfy but feels like not your pyjamas. Even if they're just fancy pyjamas that you tend not to wear in bed, I think so long as you're changing from whatever you wore at night into whatever you will wear during the day, that is the transition you need to start your day. So for me, I'll probably slip into some really comfy clothes, usually a t-shirt, and then I'll add my jewellery on top. I'll maybe add some makeup if it's one of those days. I'll do my hair, put my glasses on, and then I feel like I'm ready for the day, even though I'm not dressed up to the nines or dressed up in a way I usually would be if I were gonna leave the house. Just finding some harmony in amongst the chaos of this whole situation really helps put my mind at rest. And for me, a lot of that is about how I look. It relates so much to how I feel. That self-care is happening on your skin, on your face, in your brain, all the good places. One of the best things I started doing for myself is planning my days. I use this paper planner from, I believe, CISO Graphics, and it comes already a bit structured like a bullet journal, but also with times in from, I think, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., so you can put in chunks of what you're doing throughout the day. I find that so helpful, along with keeping a to-do list and keeping a digital calendar, I use my iCal. Having my days structured and planned just takes one thing off my mind, so I try and plan on a Monday what I'm gonna be doing roughly throughout the week. I can adjust it if necessary, but generally I stick to it. It just gives me a sense of calm in amongst all of the stuff that is floating around my head during my work day. 
If you've been around here a while, you know I will always recommend the Pomodoro timer to anyone who struggles to get things done, especially someone who struggles with procrastination. You put the timer on and you can get it on all across the app store and like probably on most devices, whether they're iOS or not. And you time and you start with 25 minutes and you do focused work in that 25 and then you get given a five minute break. And you keep doing that cycle four times over and then at the end of two hours, you get a 15 minute break. I find it so helpful with creating balance in my work day, especially when I have some like quite heavy load projects to do. This one might be a little contentious, but I would recommend eating at regular times during the day. I think that really helps to break down your day and create a little bit more routine when you could have no routine at all. So I always try and eat around 12 or one o'clock for lunch. And then I always try and have dinner around six or seven. Actually, probably a bit later than that, maybe seven or eight. I feel like food was meant to be a natural way to break up your day. It feels so innate to me to go and cook something or prepare something or even microwave something and use that time to just decompress from whatever I was doing previously. And carrying on from that, ending work at roughly the same time each day does wonders for your brain. I have a little routine now where I stop work around six or seven o'clock and pour myself a little glass of wine, get myself some olives in a little dish, and I go upstairs and I play Spyro, or I call one of my friends, and it's just like the perfect line drawn moment, and I can unwind. On that same note, having something to look forward to at the end of your day, I think is vital, especially for keeping up your morale when you're not able to go out and see friends. So for me, as I've mentioned before, playing Spyro is a big one. Having something tasty for dinner is a really big one for me or a little treat. Having a film you really wanna watch or a TV series. A call with your friends is really lovely. Just something really nice to look forward to in each day, if not every other day, just really helps like round off my mental health and help me take care of myself even though I'm working from home and I'm not really getting the opportunity to see anyone at the moment. And finally, alone time is so important. If you're in a situation like mine, you're probably isolating with people you don't normally isolate with. Maybe it's your housemate, but maybe it's your partner's housemates. Maybe it's your family and you're a student and you've moved back home. There are lots of different situations for people right now and sometimes it's hard to find alone time. So if you can, I'd really, really recommend it. It's been doing wonders for me. Going on a walk, creating some playlists of like your favorite music, uh, saving like a really good podcast for when you're out and like just having a moment to yourself. I know some people meditate to get their alone time, some people journal, whatever works for you. But yeah, get that alone time in. It's all about finding harmony in your days. So yeah, those are my tips for creating routine and maintaining your sanity while working from home. I hope you're doing okay and you're taking care of yourself. And yeah, give me a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give me a like, I really appreciate it. And let me know what you've been doing to maintain your sanity down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I believe around here, there's some like fun little videos I've made recently. Maybe an option to subscribe. Click wherever you fancy.